but I started to cry. Come back. Mm -hmm. oh. Marilyn was there. Keep him warm, you see. Some trucker had kicked her out of his cab. She saw me crying. Said it was an omen. A word from... Oh. On high. Some were right. She is religious. No. Oh, from the king. Elvis. Saw me crying in the chapel, see? Wants me to take her to Graceland. You still haven't told us what happened to me, ma'am. Wow. Country air. I've not slept like that in years. In the Antonelli's dressing gown. Yeah. Your mum never had out that looked like that. Shit, you go butch. You'll catch flies with your mouth open like that. Zack lover, I'll see if I can find something to wear and then you can take me on a tour. I've seen the pigs. Let's go and look at the cows and the sheep. The what? <laughs> ah, yeah, a quick walk. Uh, get some fresh air in our lungs. And the horses. I do like horses. You can show me that... Uh, Stallion you're so fond of. I couldn't believe Rachel will be taken in by Smooth Talk. I mean, he's nothing but an insurance salesman. Didn't you have a go at that once? Mind you, I suppose it requires a certain amount of charm. I thought in your house, charm was something you put on a bracelet. No, that's shrunken heads. Something you'll never have to worry about. Nothing your family does either interests or worries me. Oh, well, in that case, I'll just carry on making the coffee and say nothing about what I've just witnessed. Will you tell her to stop being childish? OK. Dave Glover's gone. Bags, the lot. <laughs> Maybe he forgot he was looking for her. Had a bang on the head or something. This woman has had a bang on her head if she thinks your father's good looking. <laughs> you hear about it? Scrambles the brains and that. Had a few in your head then, have you? My mum did hit me with a frozen pig's head once. Yeah. Ah, that happens to me all the time. It was an accident. <laughs> of course. Yes, yeah, you were aiming for our butch. I had 14 stitches. And this is the saintly mother you're missing so much, is it? Ah! Frank finally had enough of the menage a trois scenario, then, eh? If it's any of your business, Eric, I'm the one that's had enough. Oh, well, all good things in that, eh? Don't suppose you bought back any souvenirs, did you? Help pay the rent? Eh? Some silver? Bit of jewellery from a grateful Mrs. Tate. Shove off, Eric. No, would have sufficed. I didn't bring anything from home farm. I've come away with exactly what I went with. Nout. I don't like it that way, OK? Thanks, love. Bye. Now, if you ask me, it was all planned from start. Emma gets her clothes into Zoe and then she moves her little friend. Don't be ridiculous. I mean, they were supposed to be going out together last night. Last minute change of plans. Zoe has to go out on her own. Oh, she put a brave face on it. But she even lost her temper with me. Of course, you didn't say a word out of place. Well, no more than was needed. I never do. Oh, that's what young Zoe needs. Nice, handsome young. Just Betty. I'm sorry about last night. It was an emergency. Why didn't you ring me earlier? They must have given you some notice, or is it easy to make excuses to an answer phone? Oh, it wasn't like that, Cathy. Luigi's chef went down with food poisoning. He was desperate. Hope you paid for the roses. Hey, Cathy. Hope I'm not interrupting a tender moment, eh? It's never stopped you before, Eric. Thought you might like to know, a certain Mr. Glover's just moved into Annie Sugden's old cottage. Seems like he and the Wicked Witch of the West are no longer an item. What are you doing? Moving the fresh stuff to the front. Oh, very clever. Then we get stuck with a stale bread nobody wants. And if it's all at the front, I think it's all stale still. You get everything else wrong, might be difficult. Look, just leave the bread to me, will you? Stop! You can wait in the car, Nick. Why don't you want me to see what you're buying with Frank's money? One for him, one for the Dingles. Is that what it's like, eh? Don't try and take me on, Nick. You'll end up with more than a trout in your gulp. Still another success for Mr. Stupid. Morning. My wife will serve you. You can compare notes on Casanova, the barman. I just wanted to say thanks for a great night. Well, thank you. We both had a lovely time. It was good to meet Chris. 
He's a nice guy. He said the same about you. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Sorry, love. Quite all right. Bye. Are you Fred and Ellie's, then? Did you bring her back, were you? You try to be clever. You try to be bad. Teddy, this is my friend, Marilyn. Oh. And I don't want you trying with her what the lads tell me you've been getting up to with Viv. Otherwise, they'll feed bits of you to the pigs. And you'll be watching while I do. One more crack about me and Viv Windsor. They won't even find your bits. No, no, boys. There's no need to fight. No. There's plenty for everyone. They'll get divorced. I'm sure they will. It's just a row. It'll calm down. You didn't see him. You nearly hit her. You can't blame him for being upset. Not with her. I've met off with Fatty across the road. See, but she thinks I'll get divorced. Look, it won't happen. I mean, she'd never leave us, and he'd never leave the shop. The problem is, I can't see him getting straight while Terry's still across at the pub. If we could get rid of him... What are you gonna do, put a contract out on him? I don't know, but we've got to get him out of Emmerdale. The massive new B&Q warehouse has opened in Cardiff. What's in it for you? Probably the biggest choice of home improvement and gardening products ever put together in Britain. Thousands of ideas for lighting, thousands of decorating ideas with interior designers to help you choose. Electrical products, hand tools, power tools, a huge showroom for kitchens and bathrooms with a free computerized planning service. A complete builder's yard with free timber cutting. We've even built a show house in store. There's a gardener's paradise with a hothouse packed with plants. And B&Q Warehouse has experienced tradesmen working in store to give you any help and advice you need, as well as daily project demonstrations. And remember, everything is at low warehouse prices every day. The new B&Q Warehouse, Cardiff, Britain's biggest home improvement store. You've got to see it to believe it. Come inside this Easter, and you can treat the family to Irish coffee liqueur gatto at one pound off. Iceland, we're full of surprises. New Vaseline antiperspirant. Tough on perspiration, mild on your skin. Try it now. It's half price. Win Euro 96 tickets with Fuji Film. And Giggs is in the box! Everyone wins a photo of Ryan Giggs. Introducing the new multi-sander from Black & Decker. First, it's a high-speed random orbital sander. Then, with the turn of a key, it's a finishing sander. And then, it's a detailed sander. The new multi-sander, guaranteed for two years, only from Black & Decker. If you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. Copacabana starring Michael Craig comes to the Bristol Hippodrome. Book now and all will be revealed. That's the Copa! Copa Cabana! Woo! It's super! It's exciting! It's wicked! It's Western Supermare. for 18 months. Free credit for four years. This Easter holiday. Only at the Sweet Centre. Watermark, the place to go for everything for your aquarium, pond and water garden. Call in and see us at Watermark, Taunton, Yeovil and Hambridge. You can always come back here, I suppose. It won't work now. Not now. I've had my eye on this cottage for me and Kim, and baby. I thought she'd seen sense. Nah, David, lad, it's you seen sense. The sooner you stop worrying about that one, the better. Hey, up. It's up with you. I'd sprung a leak. Now's helping me with the logs. Got a few bobbing. 
Because up the cold weather hangs about a bit longer, that's all. I'm knackered, though. I'm supposed to be revising for my GCSEs, like. Why is you always think about that when you're working, eh? You've loads more logs to do, you I'll give you hand. What's up with Kim Satcher? Nah, not much of a job there in the first place. I've got plenty of free time. Good, you can do it next lot, then. Come off inside. Terry, you've got a visitor. Uh, I'm just closing up. Right. Hiya. Uh, look, if this is about your dad thumping me... I'd have done the same, and more. I don't know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. And so's your dad. You're lying. They're out, and Donna's crying all the time, and it's all your fault. I haven't done out. <laughs> look, just leave, will you? There's plenty more pubs. <laughs> leave Emmerdale? Is this your dad's idea? <laughs> oh, look, come here. There. Hey. Listen, if me and your man were an hour to leave, what's to stop her coming with me? You hadn't thought of that, had you? You can't take my mum away. Hey, I wouldn't do a thing like that. Look, it's all just been a big mistake. What the heck was that for? It was me, Sawyer. I saw you kissing her. You never did. When you were supposed to be dancing in the village hall, I saw you. I haven't kissed your mum, I wouldn't. You're lying. I tell you, you didn't half drop lucky with that man in your order. Lucky? When I set my mind on a woman, very few can resist. No, I mean, you know, you, you just split up with my mum, like, and then you met Marilyn. Oh, well, yeah, look, man, you put it like that. So what happened to me mum, Dad? Go on, he could tell me. Aye, well, I never got to see you. You what? Once you had my granddad's then? Well, rightly, no. I never got there. It were fate, lad, fate. It were a skirtle to a bum and a cleavage you could dive into more like. Hey, there's worse things you can fall for, lad. It were like I got stung by a sweet honey bee. <laughs> what? Words of the king. Can't argue with Elvis. Dad, you were going to get me mum, your wife, and bring her home. Butch, lad, think about it. A beautiful woman comes up to you. In a church, start singing, are you lonesome tonight and sticking a tongue in your ear? Would you go looking for your mum? I don't understand. When you're older, you will. No! How she can stick a tongue in your ear and sing to you at the same time? Oh, get in. Feast your eyes on this then, lover man. Why, heck? Where'd you find that? Our Tina's flaming wardrobe. She can get that off right now. I'm only borrowing it until Zach and me can get shopping. I need a new wardrobe, what with summer coming. Mm. A wardrobe might look better on you than that. You're in the country now. We know the difference between mutton and lamb. Oh, hello. Hi. Or you, out. Has Kelly come home? She just came home, yeah. Why? I told you. Was she crying? What have you done to her? Don't even think about it. Now, get this into your thick skull. I've never touched Viv, never kissed her, nothing. We have not had an affair. You would say that, wouldn't you? Why don't you tell Viv why you're so sure of that? I know what's going on, mate. Tell her. You've been bullying Kelly, trying to get her to change her mind. Kelly? Kelly thinks she saw us kissing in the village hall. So she tells Walt Disney here, who makes up his own nasty little fairy story. I've seen you both. You're always touching, giggling. You're like kids. You're the one behaving like a kid. You got your own children thinking that you're going to get divorced. Not my problem, mate. You don't even notice when your own daughter comes home in tears. Well, neither did she. There you go again. You're acting like a 14-year-old who's been given the elbow. Is this all about you? Your hurt feelings, your flaming imagination. So what are you saying? At last, he's listening. What I'm saying is that I wouldn't try it on with a mate's wife. And more importantly, Viv isn't the sort of woman who'd let me. She's not a scrubber. She's a fine woman. And if that makes you think that I fancy her, then I'm sorry. I'm trying to make you see what you've got. She cares about you and the kids. 
Do you think she's going to give all that up for a quickie with some bloke like me? You got your kids so wound up that Kelly watched me out of town on first stagecoach. Thinks it's the only way she's going to stop you two from splitting up. Well, I'm here to tell you something for now. I'm going nowhere because I've done nothing wrong. And neither is Viv. Right. I can't have a word with Kelly. Put her straight. We had to call him Mr. Charles. He was only about three years older than me. He thought he was God's gift. Oh, I know the sort. Thought he could pull any of us. Not only did he get nowhere with me, but I pinched one of the other girls off him too. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bet you didn't get like that, trimming a budgie's beak. <laughs> oh, she's a laugh, isn't she? Has she been here long? <laughs> no. Have you got the bills done? Yeah, just about. I told you I wanted those in the post for tonight. If Susie stops you working, you tell her you're busy. Understand? Entertaining that dishy chef of yours? Uh, no. Um, this is just for a friend. Male? As a matter of fact, yes. Oh, didn't you know? Having friends of the opposite sex is banned in this village. Don't waste your time with wine. Just take a negligee and a toothbrush. Uh, I think just the wine will do, thanks. Drive people away behaving like that. Oh, you're a fine one to talk about driving people away. Look, I said I'm sorry. I know I've been stupid. <laughs> been stupid? Ah, stupid, more like. Now what have I done? You believe Terry. What? What do you mean he was lying? Exactly. I'm not a man, not one of the Brotherhood, so just ask yourself this. You believe Terry. What does that say about us, that you weren't prepared to believe me? Man, we might do some mum's stuff round here, but we don't nick off each other. It's her, Marilyn. She wants to go shopping. Good. I need some tights and some toothpaste. No clothes shopping. And he's paying. The money won from fight. We've got to stop her before she gets her hands on it all. Well, where is she now? Sam's distracting her. Did we find out what happened to me mum? Mm, you never saw her. He got hijacked by the Queen of the Night. Yeah, she's a fit-looking woman, though. Butch, she thinks she's been guided by the spirit of Elvis Presley, but Elvis is driving her straight back into your dad's trouser pocket. You! We should try sleeping oh. at night. Oh. Oh, I see mortar mouth, so. Where's Marilyn? Sam's taking her foot walk. And she's taking you for a ride. Dad, you gave up the chance of getting me man back for some woman that's just after your money. You think I can't handle a woman? Any road, it were you wanted me to forget your mother. Hey. And it's not my money she's after. <laughs> ah, hey, making friends, are you? Get stuffed. Huh? Oh, it's a shame about him, isn't it? More puddle than you said. He tried to tell me them horses up the road weren't yours. They belonged to the people at the big house. I explained how you like to keep a low profile for tax reasons. Huh? He wouldn't have it. I have, uh... Does this mean that we're, uh, rich? Uh, only on paper, son. At the minute. Oh. Come in, it's open. Hi. Brought, um, a little celebration. What on? The new house? Whatever you like. Sorry, I can't offer you any stronger. Tina's locked all the drinks away. For my own good, she says. Wouldn't surprise me if she hadn't taken the entire contents. For your own benefit, of course. Lay off her, Chris. She's a good kid. Anyway, a toast. Absent friends. How about rats and sinking ships? Oh, do you care to join us? We're just drinking a toast to good time Glover. Amazing how fast he dumped you when it became clear you wouldn't get your hands on this brace. Not everybody's driven by the same nasty motives as you, Christopher. Bye-bye. Cheers. Oh, I can't find it anywhere. It's all right. I came prepared. You always did think of everything. 
Only the unimportant things. Hey, come on. Court school's hardly unimportant. <laughs> well, what is important is that, as we're going to be neighbours, then I think we should be friends. I can't believe you sometimes, Kath. After the way I hurt you. I know what Kim's like, remember? I can see how you were taken in by her. Ah, yeah, well, it's all over now, isn't it? Time to pick up the pieces. Here you go. Friends? Good friends? Can I have a word? Yes, of course. The, uh, the, the £10 this week's payment. If you're ashamed about anyone seeing you pay me, just add it to my change, eh? Well, that's, that's the point. I'm, I haven't got it, not this week. Ah. But I can pay double next uh, week. Well, that's not what we arranged. It's all I can do. Well, perhaps I'd better have a word with your husband, see if he can think of something, eh? Leave Ned out of this. You'll get it next week. £10 is now to you. Next week, Twenty pounds won't be out. Make sure I get it. It was all so easy in the end, eh? Enjoy the peace. I will. Relaxed in weeks. You know how much I appreciate this, Kath. Well, it's nice to see the real Dave Glover back. What about your new bloke, Sean? Don't you mind you coming round? Sean's a friend, and this has got nothing to do with him. Right, let's be going. Champagne, and you better get used to it now we're officially living together. This week on HTV, Getaways features a weekend in Bybury, the unexpected delights of Belgium, adventures in Cornwall, and a postcard from Barcelona. Join Anne Gregg and Graham Purchase Thursday, 10.40 on HTV. Tell me one good thing about your bank. First Direct, 24-hour telephone banking. Everyone can make their views known to the people running the country. Not everyone can express their opinions to the people who run business. NNP voting members now have the opportunity to do just that. You should have received this pack. It invites you to use your vote on the transfer of NNP to Abbey National. If you want to vote by post, you only have a few days left. Voting forms must be received by the 6th of April. Use your vote. Post it today. The essence of a summer breeze. Delicate wildflowers and a suspicion of herbs. A new fabric conditioner. 
a wonderful fragrance. New Country Garden, from Comfort. Comfort refill gardens now have 20% extra comfort care for your money. Are you alarmed by violence, vandalism and drugs in today's society? Is divorce too easy? Have we lost our way? HTV's On The Line asks what's gone wrong. Call us on 0990 200 650. Are things better than ever or are we on the slippery slope? Whatever your views, call 0990 200 650. Now on HTV, West Eye View. 